one of the most anticipated showdowns for this year's track and field season, we finally, finally got to witness the men's 1500 meters in the 2021 Olympic trials. Like many other events, the athletes competing in this distance are extremely quick, but what makes this 1500 so unique this year is that we have the 2016 Olympic champion Matthew Centrowitz, we have the 2021 NCAA champion Cole Hawker, we have the 2019 USA champion and mustache legend Craig Ingalls, but the one runner with a truly captivating story is Hobbs Kessler, who at the age of 18 broke two separate national high school records this season, breaking the indoor mile record with a 357, and he also ran a truly remarkable time of 3 minutes 34.36 seconds in the 1500. For the past two decades, the previous high school 1500 meter record was almost untouchable, as Alan Webb ran a time of 3 minutes and 38 seconds. But remarkably, Kessler slashed almost 4 seconds off of this time, and while this record was already historic, this 334 is actually faster than the current NCAA collegiate record, which stands at 334.68. Even against some of the best mile athletes in the world this season, this kid has been hanging tight, showcasing amazing resolve against many other athletes. But the question now is can he hold on during these Olympic trials? For the first round, Kessler found himself in the middle of the pack for the majority of this race. Through the opening 400, the field hit a time of around 63, and through the opening 800, they hit a time of 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Put yourself in the shoes of Hobbs Kessler right now. At this point in the race, during the Olympic trials, the pace you found yourself at is over 10 seconds slower than your personal best, and with the other very experienced athletes in the field, it is possible that they could drop a very impressive final lap and leave you in their dust. Well, if you had thought that, think again, because this 18-year-old not only dropped a 53-second final 400, but he managed to win this opening round with an absolutely smoking final 100 meters. And just look at his effort here. He definitely has more in the tank. This opening round qualification proved beyond any doubt that Kessler can indeed handle this pressure. And while this opening heat was certainly a very impressive performance, the next race was even more compelling. In this second heat of the men's 1500, we had Cole Hawker, we had Matthew Centrowitz, and we had Craig Ingalls. For much of this 2021 season, the inevitable matchup between Centrowitz and Hawker has been one of the most anticipated races of this season. And now, on day seven of the Olympic trials, it was finally time for these two to clash. Immediately from the gun, Hawker took to lane one and asserted himself in the lead. Unlike the previous heat, Hawker took out the pace quite strongly, hitting an opening 400 of 57.72 seconds. After this opening lap, Hawker did slow down ever so slightly, but he still managed to hit an opening 800 right at two minutes flat. At this point in the race, with about 600 meters to go, these three favorites looked very relaxed, but what was in store for the final 400? With one lap to go, Hawker hit a time right around 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And from this point all the way to the finish line, Cole Hawker, the freshman phenom from Oregon, was absolutely moving. Down the home stretch, Hawker held a pace that nobody else could match. And while this was only a qualification round, his finish here was still very impressive. With a finishing time of 3 minutes 39.72 seconds, Hawker hit a final 400 meters of 54.7 seconds, and he did it all completely alone. This race was essentially a time trial for Cole Hawker, but the real question now, after these very compelling opening rounds, is what will happen when these athletes finally meet in the finals? And now I'll pass this final question off to you guys. Who do you have making the Olympic team this year in the men's 1500? Do you have Cole Hawker? Do you have Matthew Centrowitz? Do you have Craig Ingalls? Or do you have the youngest athlete in this entire field, Hobbs Kessler? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below on who you think will make the Olympic team this season. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.